Tonight, it's the National Football League. Super Bowl 55. Conventional yet, but we have made it through together, and now the eyes of the sporting world fall on us here tonight as it is the night we crown a champion. And all of us here at EA Sports so proud to bring you Super Bowl 55 from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, and it's a matchup full of intrigue. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs taking on the champions from the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And Charles, we know how difficult it is to go back to back in the NFL. Few have succeeded in doing so. But here are the Kansas City Chiefs, champions of the AFC yet again, trying to lift that Lombardi trophy. Remember, this is a franchise that played in the first ever Super Bowl. Then they ended up winning Super Bowl IV, which was 50 years prior to winning Super Bowl 54. They didn't want to win another 50 years, so they went ahead and made it back this year. What a great run for this Kansas City team. Meanwhile, for the Buccaneers, well, I think we can safely say the Tom Brady experiment has worked just fine. All the questions about hey, are we really putting our faith in a 43-year-old quarterback? Come on, I think now we can say definitively that the answer is yep. And it's always amazing that just one guy can completely change the culture of an entire franchise. And he's done exactly that. But remember, this team had a lot of good players already on the roster, ready to embrace a new leader and a new direction. They've done exactly that, elevated their game, and found their way into the Super Bowl. On first and 10, here's Brady. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm, and that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former Major League pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. Sammy Watkins, he's going to go. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Oh, up, With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And normally when you see guys moving this fast, it might be a fly pattern from a receiver or a toss sweep from a tailback or something like that. This was designed as a passing play, and then he got out of the pocket, and he just took off, and he just kept gaining momentum with every step. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. Oh, and now they're going to fake him. Able to shake him off. the fake extra point or not unless they move these kicks back to the 15. Apparently, I was mistaken. Yeah, I was wondering who was ever going to try to do this. In fact, I quit wondering. I didn't think it would ever happen. Taking a fake from the 15-yard line to try and pick up an extra point, I didn't think anyone would ever call this. So they went for two and failed. They didn't use him on the PAT, but now he boots this one away with a 6-0 lead. Takes it at the 7. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bucs take over first and 10 at their own. And now back out comes the offense. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull off, and not hit him. There's the penalty. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. My next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target, and he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, it obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one because to me when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well. And that starts with the organization itself all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted and spotted at the 14-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And he's going to get this yeah, one across the 30-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Inside the 40. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch in his Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. He's going to be a handful in one on one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man to man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And they'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. And that's a loss of seven on the first down play. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Mahomes going to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The surprise second-round pick, Sean Bunning, there to get a hand in. And this may be a big early turning point in this Super Bowl. They're going to go for it on fourth down here. That one complete to Hill. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's a gain of 31 with right around one minute to go in the quarter. Well, after
after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Mahomes, that's complete, right around the eight. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Here's second and one now from the seven. Now Edwards Alaire. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Six-nothing, our score after one. The score, Chiefs six, Buccaneers nothing. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Demarcus Robinson there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? What maybe that? They, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I the, don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hurl, and someone kicking the ball through the <laughs> Back now comes Tampa Bay, and down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score, they know the situation, and by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Play to his receiver, Godwin. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I have often wonder why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yard. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Quick slant to Brown. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Throwing now is Brady. Open man is got it. It's complete. And he's going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. 
Maybe not so clear with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route, He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. KC's offense ready to take over. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 20. They'll start with the option. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Still first down. Now here's Mahomes. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. Sammy Watkins, he's going to go. The 30, 10. In your face. All the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Sammy Watkins. His second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. And yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things, and it won't come back and hurt them later. Two minutes remain in this opening half of Super Bowl 55. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Here's a throw caught by Gronkowski. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Now Brady. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Makes it third and six. Throwing his Brady on third down. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs are able to cut into that deficit. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down. But he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was 
was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Ryan suck up on for the point after. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. Just a four play drive that time. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Time now for Patrick Mahomes as we put him in our player's spotlight. What have you seen from him, Charles? We know we got a pair of touchdown passes to show right now. They're winning, so things are pretty good. You see a lot of confidence because when you see that, every movement seems fluid. There's nothing labored at all. I mean, look at it back there, throwing the football. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts.